Lil Tecca, Dolly featuring Lil Uzi Vert. Reaction. Let's get into it. So, these two collab has been actually over, like overdue. Because apparently they was already supposed to collab. Our fans and supporters was already expecting this or was raging for it. I want to say back in 2018. Either 2019 or something like that. I want to say probably the end of 2018. But um, they obviously finally got the collab. It's crazy. Um, what's more, even more interesting, the innovativeness of Cole Bennett. If you don't know who I'm talking about, <laughs> and you're actually listening and watching in this video, something is wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? It's basically the director that directed this music video. He's insane. It's kind of like me thinking about all the different ideas he's came up, he's come up with so far. It's just mind-boggling. Yet it's also like, dang, what what can he come up next? You know, what can he come up with next? It's crazy. Um, Lil Tecca took this song and really, he, it's crazy because. I seen the three, the the first four videos he had out, and they didn't really do, they they did some, they did numbers, right? But they did numbers over time, of course. Um, it's just crazy that boom, he dropped this video with with Cole Bennett, and it, it goes crazy, you know. Ransom, he got he got he got a bunch, he got a bunch of hits at this point, but once he got his first hit. So that's the thing about music. If you get one big hit, as as a musician, to be honest, obviously you don't chase hits. You know what I'm saying? Don't chase like, let's try and be like, you know what I'm saying, the most litest with one song. Like, don't chase hits. But also, you don't you don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure Designer didn't know like Panda was gonna be that big and affect his career in a way like like that. You know what I'm saying? Because by having a song that huge, it's kind of impossible to 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 fuel off that to to basically create more songs that kind of have that impact. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's interesting how Lil Tucker basically made his way through the industry. You know what I'm saying? He's killing the streaming world right now. Um. He, he don't surprise me. What did surprise me was when he basically was keeping it 100 in his genius. I wouldn't say interview because it's not really an interview. His genius behind the lyrics. And basically he was like saying that his lyrics is not like authentic. You know, he's just ha having fun with music. So... For him to actually have that mentality of like, look, I can talk about having this and this and that and having the hoes or whatever the case, yet I also could be loyal to one girl and not even wanting to talk to females that want to just with me for a couple of reasons, you know? I definitely find that interesting how he basically kept it authentic uh, with his audience and his core. But I, I feel like if you make good music, like like if you're a street rapper, right, you can't portray something that you're not in the industry. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, people won't accept you. Like, uh, uh, like, like if you say you were blood or whatever the case and you shooting at the ops and then this, this, and that, and, but then like in an interview or something, you none of those things. You didn't do none of that. You don't do that. You know, it's like you kind of can't. You can't do that. You know, but with Lil Tecca, it's kind of like he's basically having fun. I'm glad that he's not doing the scenario I just explained. I'm glad he's just talking about cars, having fun, the normal traditional rap stuff. You know. Maybe drugs here and there, but also maybe you could be real and honest about. It's kind of interesting, man. 
Because, like, you listen to Lil Tecca, it's kind of like you basically just having a vibe. Even Lil Uzi Vert, I feel like these two on the song is perfect because I feel like they kind of have similar rap flows, you know. Because who's to say that when Lil Uzi Vert put out Money Got Longer Speakers, I mean Money Longer, we don't know if he actually had money, you know what I'm saying? He just made a hit, you feel me? He just literally made a hit. And it's, it's interesting that, now that I think about it, like Safe House and all those songs, all them hits that Uzi got and, and the stash that he, you know what I'm saying, been put out, is very interesting because those are bangers, right? But in some of those songs, he's talking about like a lot of stuff that he may have not had at the time, but have now, you feel me? Because we all know what deal we have. What record deal we have, you know? <sighs> Lil Tekka Dolly featuring Lil Uzi Vert. Think I should take the camera? Hmm? Think I should take the camera? Mm hmm. <clears throat> you still getting videos. Huh? <laughs> so you still getting videos. You leaving right now, right now? Not right now, I'm gonna take them out. Yeah, they're not gonna be done by then. But I really don't need them because I still haven't edited the other videos. So that's good. But uh, the reason why I added this clip before my videos is because I feel like people expect me to put the whole entire video inside of my video, which they could just go watch the actual video if they wanted to have or see the whole video. Tell them why though. Well, it's because of copyrighted reasons, you know what I'm saying? It's a copyrighted issue. You know, if you take if you if if I get if I want to make my own barbecue sauce and I literally just steal the their ingredients right off the back of the the bottle or whatever the case, I could easily get sued. But if I use salt or some sort of other ingredient ex to add to it or maybe take away then I easily could sell my own barbecue sauce. What? They can put it in Yeah, I guess. I mean, I just need this video to be two minutes. That's why it's dragging out this long, but yeah. Hold on. I look sexy. Excuse me? I'm sexy and I know it. I just want to touch you. Show you this.